the tutorial, nothing too crazy. Let's get into it. So first things first, you wanna go ahead and add your clip. So basically what you wanna do is, you wanna first of all, get rid of any dead frames. These are just frames that have no movement. So to do that, you wanna go through the clip and whenever you see movement, so like this, you wanna split it and you wanna do this for the entire clip, like so. After you finish with that, you wanna go ahead and select your bottom layer and then hold control shift and select your top layer, drag everything to the left, right click on the layer, go to keyframe assistant and then sequence layers. Make sure the overlap is unchecked and then press OK, pre-compose and now you wanna add Twix to Pro. You can leave everything on default except the frame rate you want to have the same frame rate on the twix to pro setting as the one in your initial clip if you want to find out what your frame rate is on you just go to project and then you go on your clip and it should say it here in my case is 30 so i just i change the frame rate to 30 and then you want to change image prep to contrast slash edge enhance now you're going to pre-compose the layer again right click go to time and then enable time remapping go to the last keyframe and then move to the second to last and then add a new keyframe delete the last one now you can drag your clip it's nicely twisted like so you want to go ahead and select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease now go into your graph editor you can copy my graph but you, obviously this depends on the clip so i do something similar to this you can see it's nicely twisted you can either do this type of graph or this one so this ensures that there's movement towards the end as well. Now the second method applies for clips that might not look good with the Twixter. So there's a lot of like warp involved. This is basically because some clips have sudden movement and it's not really smooth. So in my case here, as you can see, um, there's just a lot of movement. So if we do the same Twixter that we did before, you'll see that there's a lot of warp in the clip. So basically to fix this, I use a free software called Flow Frames. It basically just increases the frame rate of clips. I'll leave the link to download in the description. You want to do the same thing we did before. You get rid of every dead frame, but this time instead of pre-composing and adding Twixter, you want to render this clip. After rendering your clip, you want to load up Flow Frames. This is what it looks like. And then you want to go ahead and drag your clip that you've rendered and now i personally leave everything on default you want to change the output fps and speed to eight times and then you want to save it into your whatever location you want and then interpret so now it's done uh you go back to your project drag that new clip in you can go ahead and delete everything here and drag that new clip in add twixter pro so the frame rate obviously it's not going to be 30 anymore it's 240 now. Change that to 240 and then change this to contrast. Pre compose, enable time remapping, get rid of this last frame. And then now you'll see that it's just a lot smoother. And you want to do the same thing with the keyframes, easy ease, and then just do a similar graph to this. That's all, guys. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, then give this video a like subscribe and also comment down below what other tutorials you want to see if you want to see more tutorials so yeah that's all